Hey guys, Desler Magic here, and it's time for another overlooked but awesome card from Magic the Gathering's history. But first let me explain, why is this number 53? Well, a grand total of zero people noticed that OBA 53 doesn't exist. So I thought finally, let's bring back the long lost, missing, overlooked but awesome, number 53. So there must be this amazing story about why it went missing or why it was never uploaded or maybe YouTube deleted it or... No, I made a folder ahead of time and then I forgot to put something in it and then I made 54. I went back to make a list of all the cards and 53 was just a blank folder. So because I'm so totally completionist, let's just throw this one in here randomly. Now this is an uncommon that was printed not too long ago. It's a little specific, but it is currently a $2 card. Remember, that's a little bit high for an uncommon. I mean, it's not unheard of, but it's high. And yet, everybody I've ever showed this to has never heard of this card, so I'm of course talking about from Ravnica City of Guilds, Congregation at Dawn. Okay, first of all, there's a lot going on here. We've got a centaur marrying a, I don't know, who has leaves for hair? A, a leaf dryad medusa? I don't know what that is. But you know what? I'll support the marriage. But what is the priest wearing? Or let's, let's get to what is he not wearing? I'm not sure if that's just weird shading. Or if he's just straight up wearing his extra long formal loincloth, I don't know what else to call it. I don't know if those are weird shadows or his legs. I mean, this reminds me of the, you know, that dream that everybody always has where they show up to school or whatever, or work, in their full plate armor, obviously, and then forget to put their pants on. Except this time it's even worse because it's a wedding. Like, seriously? What is going on with this? I almost want to, like, find Randy Galagos on social media and, like, ask him what is going on with the bottom half of this dude's body. Well, although some cards are on the OBA list just because of their artwork or their name, this one is because of what it does. It's a three-cost instant, Selesnia colors, and search your library for up to three creature cards and reveal them. Shuffle your library, then put those cards on top of it in any order. That is just short of a triple tutor for creatures only for three mana at instant speed. So during your opponent's end step, boom, it's in your hand. Yes, you just kind of eliminated your next three draws, but assuming you went to go get something you really need, you don't really need to draw anything else. This is what you wanted to draw. So since this is so fast, so cheap, so powerful, they had to put a downside, and the downside is you really should not shuffle your library. So your opponent can occasionally cause you to shuffle your library. Not usually a very common tactic, it's more of an accident. But some cards just simply state that, like target opponent, blah blah blah, and then they shuffle their library. But sparing that, you can go get the three best creatures in, well, let's be honest, your commander deck, and then over the next three turns, you draw them. You can go get the exact on-curve best creatures and just put them right in a row. I mean, this is just so crazy. This is better than any scry effect, draw effect. Because it, it, it's three, I'd say it's better than a tutor. I mean, it is most certainly slower, but still, it, this is crazy for three mana. The problem is that mana cost is really tight. So I've got to jump back to the art for a second. Does the guy who's marrying them look like he's like surprised? He's like, he's either that or he's like pondering something. Like he's, he'd be like stroking his beard or he's like covering his mouth to cover his gasp. I don't know. I mean, he's going full blown. Did I leave my oven on? Oh my gosh, I did. I have a theory and it's that either one, he just realized he's not wearing any pants or two, somebody in the crowd at the wedding just objected. I know you're already screaming it down in the comments, but... This is kind of like the blue dress from like two years ago on the internet all over again. People look at this and they see different things. I've been told when I've shown this card to people, A, what if they're not getting married, they're just meeting up, you know, since the flavor text is, it is fitting that we meet in the first hour of light, for we are called by the conclave to pierce a thread of darkness. Kind of odd vows to put at a wedding. Or what if the centaur is marrying those two? So it's either not a wedding at all, even though they're clearly wearing like some pretty formal stuff, I mean, in my opinion, or the centaur is the justice of the peace, since they're both wearing like the same, I'll say, miniskirt dress? I don't know what you call that. I just couldn't see anything other than, oh, they're getting married just because of how they're standing. He's kind of got his arms in front of him. It looks like he's maybe holding like some kind of weapon. I don't really know what that is. It's so dark. I don't, it's just odd artwork. But then, like, his expression in the middle doesn't really match up, so maybe they're just meeting and planning something. Maybe they're all just, like, teaming up against someone. But then, why is she not wearing armor? Oh, maybe she's one of those armorless support druids from the Conclave. I don't know. I don't know Ravnica's history. So, leave a comment down below. Who's getting married, or are they not getting married at all? 
I'll be perfectly honest with you. If I kind of mentally take a step back and just take it all in again, I don't think anybody's getting married. <laughs> but you know what? Since that was my first impression for like weeks after seeing this card, I'm doubling down and I'm going with it. They're getting married. So have fun rolling that one around in your mind for a while. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, for two bucks a cop, you can pick this up for your commander deck, which this would be outrageously powerful in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.